Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I'll show you how to configure the DHCP client feature on the Orbit MCR. By default, the unit is shipped with the IP address of 192.168.1.1 with a prefix length of 24, but most likely you're going to want to change that address to fit into your system. In the example shown here, I'll be configuring the unit on the right, which is planned to be set up as a DHCP client to the Orbit MCR on the left. It is already assumed that you've configured both devices to allow association either through the Wi-Fi or MCR 900 over the air link, and that you're directly connected into the unit on the right either by Ethernet or serial. The Nano PLC represents a common use case where a user's end goal is to pull that endpoint via Modbus or DNP3. If you're having trouble configuring the DHCP server portion, please watch the DHCP server video listed in this video playlist. Navigate to the unit's web GUI by typing the default IP address into a web browser, then log in as the admin user. On the left, click Interfaces and let's configure the bridge interface. Click Basic Config, then IPv4, and then scroll down to DHCP and check it. This will create a DHCP client on the bridge interface. The newest releases of the Orbit MCR firmware, greater than 209, have support for multiple interfaces running in DHCP client mode. The parameters displayed here, Request Routers and Request DNS, make this possible. Disable these parameters on each DHCP client interface that is not acting as the default gateway interface. In the address above DHCP, click the X next to the 192 IP address and then click Remove. This removes the default static IP address that comes shipped with the orbit. When satisfied with the changes, click on Save. A warning may appear if your DHCP server is running. All this warning means is that the DHCP server will be disabled because no interface has an IP address in the DHCP server pool. Continue to apply your changes. Remember, you're removing the only static IP address in the system. Your web page will have to be refreshed with the newly obtained DHCP IP address. Consult your DHCP server to verify the unit's new IP address, or use the Orbit serial console to issue the show command on the bridge interface to view the new address. To configure the same settings using the console, use a serial or SSH session and log in as admin. Enter configuration mode by typing configure and issue the command show interfaces interface IPv4. This will display the IP address settings configured on all interfaces. As displayed, the bridge is set up with the default config. To configure the bridge as a DHCP client, enter the command set interfaces interface bridge IPv4 DHCP. Issue another show command to view the settings. DHCP is now listed, but we must remove the old default static address. To do that, issue the command delete interfaces interface bridge IPv4 address, and then enter the IP address you wish to remove. Another show displays that the system is now configured as a DHCP client only. When satisfied, commit the changes. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.